This is Jaeger on the Thailand Burmese border with Saw Diamond, the Minister of Health uh, for the Korean people. And we're about ready to continue the mission to finish the fourth phase of the medical program that helps the Korean people provide medics as well as almost up to the physician's assistant level. they be able to deliver babies and do some more complex and advanced procedures to help their own people. Phenomenal program, phenomenal people, and led by a, a, a great humanitarian uh, in the, uh, in the uh, group called um, Refugee Relief International Incorporated. Talk about just Burma. A lot of people don't really understand what's going on in Burma with the Karen people. Uh, can you give us a short, uh, what is happening in Burma with the Karen? Previous, uh, after the Second World War, because of, uh, you know, after the war, then the, the British uh, left, uh, left Burma. But in that time, the Korean not uh, include in the very important issue, and then didn't have any right. So why shortly, if uh, we can say that uh, since 1990, the Korean start to fight to get freedom until today. I'm in a place called Masarang. It's about 20 clicks from the Burma border. And the uh, Minister of Health is right behind me. And we're discussing uh, um, the circumstances right now. It looks like the ceasefire might be in jeopardy. It's very confusing according to the Minister of Health who's behind me. Nevertheless, we're going to go across the river uh, about 20 clicks from here. Finish the fourth phase of the medical program uh, with Refugee Relief International and uh, about five to six days, seven days and come back over here again in Thailand on the border to have the graduation ceremonies where it's a little safer. So that's the update, Yeager yeah, out. Burmese border even closer now than I was about an hour closer and uh, we get on the boats tomorrow morning 0700 um, the Thai army is going to support our crossing um, staying at the health minister's home tonight uh, you can hear the jungle sounds behind me uh, very atypical of a jungle where the cicadas are going and birds and everything else are a little quieter now, but you can still hear him occasionally. Um, the health minister of the Korean people is a good man and the one coordinating with John Paget this mission to bring the fourth phase of a physician's assistant program to the Korean people. They graduate uh, this next week after the four, five, six days of training and evaluation. So, Baker. Behind me is Burma. Uh, this entire area along this river for hundreds of miles is the Karen territory. And across from the river here is denied territory, except the tribes are able to actually come across uh, both sides of the river from Burma to Thailand and exchange trade. It's kind of a gentleman's agreement. Walani, Walagi. Thank you. So this is pretty typical of the weather here in Burma, or the border of Thailand. Um, wet monsoon season all the way through the end of September here, and uh, we just got back from church and it was a long service in a Christian church. It was very good though. Uh, didn't understand the words, but. Some of those songs and hymns I could recognize. So, out. I've been asked before by people, Jaeger, why do you go to disasters in third world countries? 
What are you trying to do? Prove something? Well, the answer is that it's the kids. It's the moms. And it's the guys that want to be free. Want to eat, have water, have some shelter, clean water. That's why I go sometimes to recover people, bring them home. But uh, I'm nothing special. I just have decided in my life that I'm going to do when the opportunities arise. And the opportunities have arisen in such, such, the opportunities have arisen for me in such strange ways. Uh, they're all bedfellows, though. They all have common denominators, which is, you know, somebody told somebody something and I got a phone call. Then the opportunity presents itself, and then we have the opportunity to say no, or I'm too busy, can't afford it, everything else. But, you know, I'm glad I've come, not only here, but to other places. I have this one little boy here. He is so cute. His name is Nodo Tu. And he has followed me everywhere, pretty much. I wake up and he's there, I go to bed and he's there. And uh, a couple times I've missed him, he's been gone, but he's just been a delight while Doc is teaching. And I'm listening and he's got the front door, pretty much. And the kid kind of hangs around with me while I tie 550 cord bracelets or little holes in coins. Uh, to pass the time, and uh, at the same time, keeping a vigilant watch. But I'm here because of love, guys. I mean, if you have that, you need to extend yourself to your family, your friends, your neighborhood, and then the world. That's really what's required. What we have to do. This is the most extreme example of doing that I've had yet. Being here on the border of Thailand and Burma, under such deep conflict with uh, such a dangerous environment with mines and the, and four indigenous tribes warring and then the government warring. Uh, it's been a real experience so I look forward to going home but at the same time I look forward to continuing the mission to help these people as best as I can from the states and, and if a follow-up trip is needed then you know get my feet moving again. I suggest you do the same. I'm on the dick pug go. I'm on the gallery. Here. You can have. Oh. You can have this one. These guys are helping me make 550 bracelets. Say. Hello. 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 Say what's up. Say what's up. Good job, buddy. What's Say what's up. What's up. Good job. Good job. Good job. They're my little army. Okay, Noto 2 is shooting rubber bands at me now. Go ahead. Nice shot. You little tiger. Hello. <laughs> Walagi. Noto Toot found me in my headquarters. He's so freaking cute. Did you find it? No? There it is. Alright, my report for today is hot, humid, and hot. Wallagi. The ducks got it right, they're in the river. But the problem with the river is there's these little snails that embed themselves into your skin and into your liver. If you don't have clothing covering your legs. Don't know if they're in, the, they're in this particular river, but I don't really want to recon it with my western white boy skin. Uh, the locals playing there all the time, but uh, let them. Hot is the word today. Hi, Herman. How are you? This is my friend Herman. He's a pig. I named him because he didn't have a name when I got here. And I spent a lot of time out here. 
in this area with Herman. So, hi. Locals are looking at me laughing because I'm pretty freaking funny. And Herman and I are mates. See? Ray. Ray. Herman. Everybody's digging me talking to Herman right now because I'm the crazy American making it happen. So right now uh, we are teaching sanitation and they're building a slit trench. Uh, one of them um, right here in this area for the, for the village. Two feet wide, three or four feet long, three or four feet deep. I'm uh, going to put some bamboo on the edges, a little toilet paper rack, and a little hand wash station as well. So the other group is actually building an incinerator, incinerator uh, by the medical clinic to dispose of medical bandages. Also sharps, we're teaching them how to get rid of sharps like needles and razors and stuff like that that have blood contamination. My little buddy followed me here today, Nodu too, is right there playing with his top. <laughs> Life is good in the Karen village here on the Thai Burma border. So they're getting the incendiary barrel ready to plant into the ground to get rid of uh, trauma bandages, blood, uh, liquid uh, bandages, anything like that that has any contaminants to it. Also, they're being taught how to deal with sharps, uh, like surgical instruments or needles. And th most of these pieces are doing that really well, especially this clinic here. It's pretty sophisticated. But this is just an example for students that are going to go out into the outreach of Burma and uh, other villages to be able to make sure that their medical facilities are run as well as this one is. So they just finished the incinerator mm -hmm. and the slit trench, mm -hmm. and it went really well. Okay. School? Today? School. the hooches are above the ground. This is Jaeger. I am here on the other side of the border. Have not left yet. We have been delayed for unknown reasons. I am thinking that there is a reason for it, but it is unknown at this time. So we have established communications with home office to let them know we are delayed. And then the boat shows up, we will cross the river. Actually, we're delayed because the wrong crystals were sent with the radios. I'm just trying to entertain myself until I get the heck out of here. Been a good trip. John's making contact with the sat phone right now with his significant half, other half. And it's been a good mission, a lot of success. And meeting today in the graduation ceremony on the Thai side of the border with the general of the Korean National Army and two of the heads of the Ministry of Defense, or the Ministry of, uh, of the Nation of the Korean, um, the health ministers mainly. Looking forward to getting home and having a little Cafe Rio. Maybe some Five Guys could be some Salt City Burger in there. Some milk would be good and a bowl of Cheerios. Even though I don't never really eat Cheerios, I kind of want some Cheerios for some reason. And to sleep on a bed and not bamboo, that would be good. But I'll shut up now. The news on everybody. I want to start today with some review. Who can tell me what the four parts of the patient evaluation are? Patient evaluation you have what is the evaluation Hmm? Yeah. Yeah.
How are you today? Are you all right today? No, do too. Are you okay? Yeah. It's got a little top. They spin with rope. They make them. <laughs> Cutest kid in the, in the world next to mine. Herman, it's important you stop drinking your own urine. <laughs> I'm giving Herman a briefing before we leave. It's okay for you to eat anything but rocks, drink your own urine, and of course your own feces is off limits. Snakes are good according to Doc John. And of course, when you see your food coming, stop squealing. It's coming. We are Didi Mao. Dr. Beetlenut. Dr. Beetlenut, my brother. Be safe. Be safe, yeah? No mines for you. Yes. Be safe. Yes. It's Dr. Beetlenut. Because he's beetle. <laughs> Chews it, sucks it all the time. We're on uh, DD Mal on our way out. Yeah, yeah. It's good. People are beautiful. We did roll the other side though. Uh, I don't have much else to say. There'll be a lot to say in the future. But watch where you step. Keep your eye head up. See you there. Yes. And uh, <laughs> kids are beautiful. All the way out, they're beautiful. I'm gonna miss my little buddy, Nodo Two. Wonder where he is. Nodo Two. Really, really would like to see him before I go. See you soon. So here's the faces of Burma. Simply beautiful. Hello, princess. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Still don't see no doubt too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. They're like, what? Who are you? <laughs> oh, thank you. from where we get off. left the uh, graduation ceremony where the first 
uh, of the Brigadier General was there and the Minister of Health. Uh, saw Diamond who works for him and they graduated from the general medical officer program 12 students out of 21 that started two years ago now these people will go back to their villages and they will care for the people they will also be responsible to train medics for the field they're assigned to brigades is how they call their terrain their territory um, so they have brigade one through six or however many they have and they're all going back to their brigades to help their villages. Very touching. The general was very emotional when he thanked John for what he had done. He said, many people come here once, but they don't come back. And he said, John has come again and again and again. So my hat's off to John Padgett, to his wife Vicki, to the Refugee Relief International group for all they have done for these people who clearly and emotionally appreciate at the very core the service that's been rendered. This is Jaeger on his way from the border of Burma and Thailand to Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Tokyo, USA. Out.